Uh, welcome back to Pioneer. Now, uh, for the final film, uh, we're going to do a courier run that requires a hyperspace jump. Now, uh, that's going to take a few days. Uh, time in hyperspace depends on the distance, weight, and uh, the class of the engine that you've got. Uh, on the jobs board, there is a uh, delivery job to Gleazy 884. Due date is about 60 odd days from now. Okay, so we're going to take that. Hang on. Now, add some fuel. Okay. Now we're going to look at the system map to find out a bit more about Gleazy 84. Now I know we could have added uh, Gleazy 84 as the target uh, when we took the job, but I'm going to go into the system map and um, so that we can see how we search for systems. We just s click on this little thing here and search for Gleazy 84, and we'll find it. Gleazy 84. Okay, we set, set, our, set as our uh, hyperspace target. Now it's going to take uh, 11 days to hyperspace to a point that's usually 10 or so astronomical units away from our destination. That's several more days of travel. So remember how we made about 200 credits just flying from Earth to Mars in the course of a day? Well, this, this mission will make us just over 100 credits per game day. Now, yeah, I think it's a balance issue, but at this point in time, it seems that interplanetary missions are much more rewarding than, uh, say, intersystem ones. So uh, that's uh, the the system that we're flying to. Now if we wanted to trade, okay, we could we would look at here and, and you can see the major imports and uh, minor exports. So if we had more space, or if we had the time, uh, we'd look at buying some of this uh, to, to trade over there. But I'm just going to do the mission um, for today. Okay. Anyway, I think we've pretty much got everything. Let me just make sure we've got that mission. Yep. Uh, Look at our fuel situation. Yeah, we're pretty good. Now, um, anyway, let's let's let, let's launch. Okay. Now we're going to have to fly manually to a safe distance from the spaceport before we can jump. And uh, look, uh, I bet some residents did not want the spaceport in their backyard. Uh, reassuring somehow that you'll still have NIMBYs a thousand years from now. We're going to go to computer speed control. Okay. It's for where the uh, thrusters. Uh, will be adjusted by the computer to keep us flying in the direction that we're pointed. Now, enter and shift are the default keys to reduce it and uh, increase the thrust. As you can see just down here, we've set a speed at 140, 804 meters per second. Now, if we click the uh, left mouse button, or oh, sorry, the right mouse button, secondary mouse button, that will allow us to uh, point the ship in a different direction, and if we click the other mouse button, that will bring us return to control to the cursor, and we can see our, uh, um, you can see our heading indicator over here. So we're just going to wait until uh, we exit this hyperdrive forbidden zone, increase our speed a bit, there we do. Wondering if there's a screenshot in there somewhere. Yeah, I think there is. Ah, I'll take that. Nice. That one looks a bit better. Anyway. Yeah, it looks like we can hyperdrive. So let's uh, let's do that. Okay, you can see the days ticking past.
Here we go. And we are we're there. Yeah now. Let's have a look at where we're supposed to go. Uh, we need to go to Miranda Outpost. Great. And go back there. And Miranda Outpost. And yes, we're 10.64 astronomical units. That's 10.64 times the distance from the Earth to the Sun to travel. Let's uh, fly there. And we're going to start accelerating. Thirteenth of January. Remember, we left on the second of January. We're accelerating. We've, we have spent the entire day accelerating. We're going to spend quite a few days accelerating. Okay. So you can see here that we've only used up half of the fuel. All right, that's because we need some fuel to slow down, but we're carrying a lot of fuel in our cargo bay. So uh, let's uh, refuel with that. And you can see the autopilot. We'll uh, adjust velocity to account for the new mass and fuel. Uh, and it will keep a good amount of delta V to slow down. And this is something that humans, or at least beginner humans, could do and could not do as efficiently. Now this is this is not a space opera, opera. and this efficiency is is is, yeah, is is why we use autopilot rather than by uh, than flying by the seat of our pants. So I guess this is an opportune time. Well, we're waiting to get there. You know, to to really ask, you know, what what are what are we? What what is this thing that's flying this ship? Are we a? Uh, if if I look through the, the the window here, you know, will I will I see a space suited human in, in the popular sense? Um, if so, then you know, how can our minds and bodies stand the, the maddening boredom? You know, if, if we've been altered somewhat. Um, to be able to just sit by while, while days flash by, then then how? Uh, what subset of humanity would, would accept uh, such a life? Um, or, or maybe we're, we are not human, you know, maybe we are a part of, of, a, of a fully automated ship, but somehow separated from the, the lower level functions, you know, like, like our minds are separated from a heartbeat, you know, our, our names and faces on this on this commander page, uh, merely a triviality. Well, hmm. anyway, but rather than asking what our consciousness is, and, and you know, in the process dis, uh, discussing Hippocrates, Descartes, and Kant in the process, perhaps it would be better to ask what function consciousness performs. Now. Princeton neuroscientist Michael Graziano uh, writes that consciousness results from our attention choosing to deeply process some information at the expense of others. You know? So, okay, we're approaching Miranda Outpost now, and. It, you know, which missions should we choose, or, or what cargo we should carry. You know, that this higher decision making would be useful, particularly where there is a scant to no data. And we, you know, because we, we can't tell when we take a job whether a client is going to pay or, or what prices will be like on, 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 on the other side of a hyperspace job. Yet, we must make a choice anyway. Ship, ships adjusting for, for gravity and all that. And you can see that the, the surface is really zipping away before us. So 
So if the function of our consciousness is to make these highly risky decisions, even if we, we, we don't have any we don't have incomplete data, then really regardless of, of origin, you know, whether we're human or whether we're computer, our function is is that we are part of the ship. And that's uh, that's pretty much about it. You, know, you can you can try trading in combat at your own pace. You know. Flying missions is just a way to explore the universe and not run a cat run out of cash. Uh, I've put a link to Michael Graziano's book excerpt in the description. And um, look, I I do hope you give the very thought provoking pioneer a try. Thanks for watching.